All right, hot takes, Ben 10 edition. Let's just jump right in. Ultimate Alien Force is overrated and the worst of the three eras from the OG continuity. I don't think UAF is overrated per se, but the maturity aspect really does play a role in making fans like it more for that reason alone. I touch on the subconscious feeling we have that just because a show is mature, it's automatically good in another video, and that's definitely the case here. Kevin should have been the villain in the first two seasons of Alien Force and still have his mutant form, possibly replacing Animo as the King of the Void. I see where you're coming from, on this one, but I really don't think this would have been a great idea, especially because Glenn Murakami's vision for the first two seasons at least worked miracles and was among the best episodes in the Ben 10 franchise. I think we got enough of the mutant Kevin in the classic series, and with the more nuanced tone the Alien Force had, it would have likely ruined it. Ultimate Alien Force Vilgax was better than the original series Vilgax, minus Primus, because that was pure crap. I agree and disagree with this one. I loved Vilgax and Vengeance of Vilgax in the final battle, but the rest of his appearances in Alien Force and especially Ultimate Alien, felt really repetitive and boring to me. I do prefer his new appearance in UAF, but his voice, menace, and awesome buildup was just amazing in the classic series. The Ben 10 reboot is fantastic, and I think the reboot gets too much hate. I'll group these two together because they're practically the same, and while I do agree that the Ben 10 reboot is overhated, it's not fantastic by any measures. The comedy is really one note, the characters are really bland with no real character flaws, the art style is cliche and predictable, with very lazy designs in a lot of cases, and it doesn't follow a legitimate story. The only reason that people hate on the CN reboot is because it doesn't follow a legitimate story like its predecessors, also its basic animation and gags. Yep. The Alien Force aliens are better than the original Alien roster. You have no idea how much I agree with this. Swamp Fire is a better Heat Blast, Big Chill is a better Ghost Freak, Humongousaur is a better Forearms, Goop is a better Upgrade, Alien X is awesome, Baby, don't even get me started. The classic roster is great, don't get me wrong, but the Alien Force roster is on a whole nother level. Lucas and Dreba are really annoying characters. I actually really agree with this one, especially with Dreba, the voice is really annoying on the ears. Even though I don't care for the reboot, I like the Gen 10 crossover. Even though I don't like the art style, I really like Rex and miss him so much, and I find they did a pretty decent job integrating him in the reboot. It just felt right, even if I was a bit confused. Well, I reviewed Ben Gen 10 in a different video if you'll want to check that out, and if you look at it, you'd see that I absolutely agree with this. Ben Gen 10 had its fair share of problems, and it didn't blow me away like Heroes United did for sure, but it was still at entertainment for 45 minutes, and I'm happy they took the risk and made it. The only thing I can say is that Ben 10 Omniverse is very underrated. I agree. Of all the Ben 10 shows, this one has definitely been dealt the harshest fan reaction, but in terms of looking back at it, I think fans are more in love with this than ever. Ben as Ghost Freak was underutilized in the classic series. I don't really know how to feel about this one. I think Ghost Freak's arc in classic series would handle pretty well, and they continued it later in Omniverse. But that might just be because I'm not a huge fan of Ghost Freak as an alien personally anyways. Also, kudos to Mr. Kid who wrote this one. He makes great videos, and I got something in the works with him, believe me. Shock Squatch was a sucky alien. He was beaten by Fistrick, whose only power is going to the gym. I agree and disagree with this. In terms of the design and voice acting, Omniverse Shock Squatch is one of my favorites. As for powers, he's basically a copy of Wrath and Feedback, and you're right, it's very downplayed in the show. The worst is actually a decent alien because he could take a lot of damage and I'm pretty sure he could run away fast enough, so he's a good alien for defense. Here we go, the worst is one of my favorite aliens because of how stupid and silly the concept is, but also how clever it is. The worst is basically an indestructible punching bag, but can still feel the pain of every punch. I explained this in my Aliens Explained video, and it makes him one of, if not the best defense alien, outside of maybe Goop or something like that. As for running fast, he is pretty short and fat, and I don't think he ever ran fast in the show, but I agree with the rest. Here's a long one. Ben has no full control over Alien X. Why do I think that? While Derek J. Wyatt has repeatedly said he has no control, Ben never asked for full control forever. He said, let me borrow the keys for Alien X for a minute. When Rook said Ben has full control over Alien X, he said that because Ben asked them to give him control again for a minute. Besides, it doesn't make sense why Ben didn't use Alien X against some strong villains like Maltruant if he has full control. Well, first of all, I appreciate the enthusiasm. You literally provided four sources to prove this point, and I appreciate your facts and logic. But as for your point, I don't think that's really a bad thing. If Alien X had a lot of control, then he'd just turn into Alien X every single time and forget about his other 70 transformations. I feel like this is just a storytelling rule, and it was beautifully explained in Alien X's premiere episode, where Ben says, My most powerful transformation ever. But it isn't worth the price. Omniverse is amazing, better than Ultimate Alien. I've seen this hot take around the fandom a lot, and while Omniverse was pretty unfairly hated in the beginning for its art style, 
the fandom has loved it as it's continued, and especially since it ended. I don't personally agree that it's better than Ultimate Alien, but it's definitely close. I haven't said this in my video ranking all the series. Sorry for plugging like 400 of my videos here, but it's all related, so if you get a kick out of this, maybe you'd like to check some of those out as well. The Ultimate Alien series is trash. The story is extremely predictable and repetitive. For example, each episode in which Agrigor searched for Andromeda aliens has the same sequence of events. Likewise, when he was looking for the map of Infinity, first they go to a planet or dimension, then they take an Infinity map, but watch the miracles every time in the end, Agrigor beats them and takes them. The end of each season is anticlimactic. There are almost no soundtrack or they're bad, the transformations are either the same as an alien force or similar, I'm not sure how anyone can not get bored of it, the new aliens are either a copy of another alien like Fast Track or have an incredibly bad design like Jury Rig, although there are a couple of good ones like Clockwork. I actually agree with a lot of your points, so kudos for that. I agree that the aliens of Ultimate Alien are among the worst in the franchise, even compared to the very hit or miss aliens of Omniverse, but there are a couple gems like Ultimate Echo Echo or Clockwork as you said. The soundtrack I would agree is very bland, definitely not as good as the other four shows, and as for the storytelling, it's basically a season 4 and onward of Alien Force. As for the Agrigor criticism, I would disagree, but to each his own I guess. Ben should never have gained access to Alien X because he's stupidly overpowered. This sounds a bit similar to the other hot take from before, except it's the exact opposite. I don't think Alien X is stupidly overpowered and here's four sources why love you marvin so that was ben 10 hot takes i'd love to make a part two so if you want a part two leave some more hot takes in the comments below and i just might make one thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe for more content and join the discord server to take part in more content like this and follow me on twitter as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you beautiful ladies and jellyfish next time shalom